materials tables chairs desks benches and blackboard are the objects we see at school they all are made up of wood wood is a material similarly some objects such as cups mugs buckets etc are made from plastic plastic is also a material we thus conclude that all the objects around us are made of one or more types of materials sometimes an object is made of a single material an object can also be made of many materials example pencil newspaper cooked vegetables etc one material can also be used to make different objects properties of materials different types of materials have different properties differences in properties help us in grouping materials into different classes appearance of material or luster metals shine in their pure state the shining property of a metal is called metallic luster iron copper aluminium gold and silver are examples of shiny metals the lustrous property of gold and silver is used for making jewelry however some metals lose their shine and look dull in appearance because of the action of air and moisture on them transparency the materials through which we can see easily are called transparent materials and this property is called transparency some examples of transparent materials are glass water air and some plastics the materials through which we cannot see are called opaque and the property is called opacity wood stone metals are examples of such materials hardness materials can be hard or soft you can find this yourself by pressing different materials with your hand materials which can be compressed or scratched easily are called soft for example sponge cotton pillow mattresses and quilts are soft materials hard materials are those which are difficult to compress for example stone brick and iron rod 